All right, guys, this is our first video in a new series on compact logics from Alan Bradley. Uh, this first video is primarily for myself because I can never remember how to install the actual program like a six months or a year later when the license expires. So you may want to, to just go ahead to the second video or possibly the third video. Uh, maybe the second video might be uh, once I've got the program installed, uh, there might be a difference between what's on my computer and what uh, version of Rockwell is on my, my PLC. So that'll probably be uh, the second video. So third video will actually get into uh, the basics of Studio 5000. So I've been, uh, I've been lucky enough to purchase a number of these PLCs from Festo. So specifically, this is the, uh, the Allen Bradley Compact Logics 1769 L24ERQBFC1B. That's the digital analog version that they offer. Um, and they're a great trainer. You'll see in the in subsequent videos that uh, it has the compact logics on the top here. Everything's pre-wired and it has a number of uh, dip switches and touch safe terminals to uh, to jumper. Then there's uh, there's even a meter and there's a number of potentiometers there to control the analog input into the PLC. But my first step is to uh, to download the software that goes with this guy. Uh, and so what we're going to do first is we're going to just Google uh, Studio 5000 Logics Designer Download. When you do that, the first or the second or the third uh, link that comes up uh, should be the download center here. Okay, before we start and go into this, uh, one of the questions that's there um, is from, this is from, where is this from? Oh, okay, this is from uh, Tim's site. So he's got a great series there as well. So uh, if I'm frustrating you, or if you don't want, if you don't like uh, learning from me, uh, Tim has a phenomenal uh, uh, website here and he's got a great YouTube channel and he has a, a full uh, playlist on Studio 5000. It's primarily where I've learned most of my stuff as well. So why am I doing videos on my own? Um, I find that I learn the, the best like I learned the product the best when I try to create uh, a video. So it's time consuming, but by the time I'm finished an entire playlist of videos, I have a really good understanding of how to teach that, uh, that class. Uh, and then the videos are available uh, for my students. So instead of sending them to, to Tim's site, I can send them to my site uh, and they can watch me going through the basics of uh, the Alan Bradley uh, software. But again, there are a number of different uh, playlists out there. So, um, Tim's saying that uh, there are several, several versions of it. If we just go back here. Now, he also has a list of, uh, of the different types of PLCs and everything. So I will actually link this in the, uh, in the video below. He's got a great um, list of all the different types of software uh, and which software that might uh, be best for you to, uh, to download. But the basics here is that, uh, is there a free version of Studio 5000? He says, uh, there's several versions of it. Uh, and knowing which version you need can save you lots of money. Unlike the free RS Logix 500 download, there is no free version of Studio 5000 Designer. So you can't get it for free. You need to get it from the supplier. Um, for one, uh, we when we decided to purchase these PLCs here, uh, this was a like a deep discussion within our faculty as to which PLC we were going to go for. We already have some uh, some Siemens um, SM1200s in the, our instrumentation lab, uh, but in North America, Siemens doesn't have a large enough footprint or as large enough footprint as Rockwell or Alan Bradley. So most of our students and most of the journeymen that are in Canada, the United States are making use of the Alan Bradley product. Uh, so rather than going with a cheaper PLC with the free software, we went for basically the most expensive PLC uh, and with a, a software that is required to renew every year. So why do we do that? We did that so that um, those leaving our program will have been working on the Allen Bradley platform uh, and will have um, like all PLCs are basically the same in the instructions. There's just minor nuances between them, uh, but we felt it was best to learn on the Allen Bradley platform because that's the one that they're going to be seeing out in the field. So um, once you've done this, uh, this uh, check in Google, for the Studio 5000 designer download, uh, then it'll bring you to, uh, if you click on this guy, it may bring you to the Rockwell automation page, and then, or it may bring you to the download center here. If you're on the, um, the Rockwell automation page, 
then you have to go to the downloads. Now, prior to doing, doing this, what I want you to do is uh, right up here in your account, you need to set up an account. Um, so it's free to, to set up an account. Uh, so you'll just put in uh, your email address that you want to work with, um, a little blurb about yourself as to what industry you're in, uh, your address, your phone number, um, and then it'll send you a link and you can, uh, you can set up that free account. Once you're in that account, um, then you can go to the downloads portion. Now, if you have purchased this uh, from uh, Rockwell, you most likely have received an email from Rockwell and it's going to give you the serial number that you need to, uh, to use in order to download the appropriate uh, software that you have purchased. So we as a college have purchased a number of licenses. Uh, so when I put in the serial number, that'll be the, the base serial number for I think like 60 license or something that we share with the post-secondary side. So um, just keep in mind that it, it is a fairly expensive uh, software, and uh, but it is well worth your time if you were learning the Alan Bradley uh, product. So um, let's go to the download center now so I can get there going here to the downloads. And then we can uh, just do a quick search. And the search I was looking for is 9324. This is the product number, I believe, uh, dash R L D D. And then I just did X. So uh, I tried this without the dash there and it didn't bring anything up. So it's Careful, dyslexia hits when you least expect it. 9324-RLDX. Beautiful. Okay, so when we hit this, it should bring up a number of different options here. Okay, so it brings up ArsLogix 5, ArsLogix 500, ArsLogix 5000. So uh, this is the previous version of ArsLogix 5000. If we look at uh, the versions, then it'll most likely show like 13 to... Uh, to 20, I believe, sorry, six to 20. Okay, so those are all your older versions of the previous software, the RS Logics uh, 5000. Okay, so let's go back uh, one page there because we're not looking for RS Logics, we're specifically looking for the new product, the Studio 5000 Logics Designer. Okay, so now we're gonna click on Downloads. Okay, you can see here, if I open up the, the, the plus here, to expand, you can see all the versions. So it goes from, uh, you know, the previous one we stopped at 20. So now this one starts at 21 and goes to what the, the newer version is now 33. Um, so the previous time I downloaded it to my computer was the 32. 33 looks like it's now the preferred uh, version of Studio 5000 Logics Designer. So over here on the right hand side, we have the show release notes and then we have uh, show the downloads. So we're going to click on this guy right here. And at this point, I need to uh, to sign in. So I will sign in for two seconds. Okay. So now you can see that uh, it's brought up the Studio 5000 Logics Designer. Uh, I'm doing version 33.01.00. Uh, and it looks like uh, I'm going to download the software and, and I'm going to require, I'm going to be asked for a serial number as well. So I'm going to click on this link here. Okay, so uh, at this point, I will, um, like I've already, um, I've already placed my serial number uh, and I've matched that with, what I matched that with my order number. So that was from the, uh, the email. Obviously I'm going to uh, cover the, the serial number here, obviously that I'm, that I'm using from work. Excellent, okay, so uh, the next window that opens up uh, is going to be your serial number and your order number. Uh, up at the top here. Uh, then down here, you see that with our order, we have a number of different uh, products. So we have the Studio 5000, the Factory Talk, uh, the FTView Studio RS Logics 500, uh, and RS Logics 5 Professional. So a number of different uh, softwares that are used uh, throughout the college. So all I need right now is I'm going to select the, the two that, I'm, that I require. So I'm gonna do Studio 5000, and I'm gonna do the factory talk. I'm not gonna do the view studio because I don't have an Allen Bradley HMI. So I'm doing studio 5000 and the factory talk. So I'm going to download those two. Okay, this is uh, 7.16 gigabytes. So this is going to take some time, guys. Okay, at this point you're accepting the license agreement and downloading. Okay, so I just hit okay. We'll see if something comes up here. 
It says your download includes five files. If you encounter any issues with the download manager, you can access your files uh, directly right here. So let's see. Okay, it looks like uh, everything has downloaded. So let me open the file here. There we go. Okay, so it looks like Studio 5000 is now downloading. Uh, after that, then the factory talk will, uh, will download. Uh, obviously, this is going to take some time, so I will be back to you once it's completed. Okay, so our downloads are done, and you will find them in the folder, uh, your C folder, in the RA folder. So I'm going to open up that folder now. Okay, and so there's a number of different uh, uh, files here. It looks like these are all zipped here. I'm going to try this first file folder here, CF+. Plus. And I'm looking for a setup. There we go. So there's a setup executable. So we'll do this guy. Nice. Okay. So uh, first thing we're doing is we're looks like we're installing Control Flash Plus. So let's do that. Let's see. Is there anything to customize? No. So it's Fat Sarah Factory Talk and Control Flash Plus uh, and maybe some tools there. Okay. So let's go back. We'll install those guys. So there may be a couple times where I'm in, I may need to restart the computer. Okay, it looks good. So now I have the, uh, the control flash. Let's see um, what that has provided me with. Let's see. Okay, that's still not my Studio 5000. Oh, okay, that was, I see, control flash plus is right there, sorry. Uh, the next thing I need is the uh, Studio 5000 here. Okay, so let's try this. Okay, so let's extract that. Okay, so now we have a new file folder here. So let's open this guy up here. Okay, so control flash, there we go. And let's see, let's try this setup here. There we go, okay, there's Studio 5000. So let's see if we can customize, oh, okay, there we go. Okay, so I screwed up in the first thing. This is why I do the videos. Um, so we wanna be downloading the Studio 5000, uh, not the control flash plus because um, well, we can download that as well, but uh, the Studio 5000 is primarily what we're looking for. Uh, Control Flash Plus will uh, will make use of uh, to make sure that like we have the same version on our computer and on our PLCs. Uh, so let's see, we're going to do Factory act Talk activation, Factory Talk links. That looks good. Everything looks cool. I don't need RS Links Classic. I don't need the alarms and events at this point. Uh, so I got 10 gigs that I'm going to now download. We'll hit next. Add compare tool to logics. <clears throat> sure, I'm not sure if I need it, but I'll try it. Okay, licensing agreement again. And again, this is gonna take a little bit of time to download. All right, so everything looks good now. I actually had to, once the computer had restarted, I had to try that setup one more time uh, because for some reason Studio 5000 was not available yet. But the second time that I ran the installation methods, then I have this with my activate uh, my software, so I'm going to hit next. So it looks like it's just initializing communication. Uh, and here's where we're going to put in uh, our serial number and our product key and product version, and then we'll activate uh, locally. It says activate the software on this workstation. So uh, let me do that, and then I'll go back to you. Okay, so I had to do it again. So the activation didn't work the first time. It timed out, and I thought it was because I need to update Windows, which I am in the background, but it hasn't completed. So you will find that like sometimes when you're installing the software, you may, if you're like me, you may have to do it twice and then the activation may have to go through uh, twice as well. But uh, now we're activated and we should be ready to go. So let's see, let's close this up. It does say that I have to restart uh, to run my Studio uh, 5000. I am updating Windows at the moment. So let me just see if it will turn on here. And then on the next video, we'll start working with Studio 5000. So uh, we're moving down here to Rockwell. There we go. So it looks like under the software here, we have all of this disgusting amount of software now. And where's there is Studio 5000 right there. Beautiful. So I'm going to uh, pin that to my start. Beautiful. And let's open this bad boy up. Uh, very nice. So we should be able to uh, open up. That's interesting. So it did take uh, my previous projects that I had uh, on the computer and they're still there. And if I do a new project here and I'm going to do um, just pick a random one here. Okay, we hit next. Beautiful. So it looks like we do have revision 33 now. On my previous install, it was a 32. So now 33 is available now. 
Excellent. We'll go through uh, all this stuff in a little bit on the next videos on like what the protection means and then uh, the actual environment on Studio Group 5000. But let's see if we hit finish and whether it comes up. Excellent. Okay, so now we have Studio 5000. Um, it took a little while to come up, but that's because I have Windows uh, uh, updating in the background there. So I think my computer's on fire uh, underneath the desk there. So uh, and a couple hiccups along the way, which were most likely my issues uh, as well. But it does take quite a while to get through from start to finish. It took me at least an hour to uh, to do it um, the whole installation. So if you are doing this for a lab then you definitely want to install this program and all your other programs um, and basically you'll probably have the exact same computer at every different station in your lab so at this point you would then create an image for this particular computer and then drop that image onto every subsequent uh, computer in the room then you wouldn't have to uh, worry about doing this installation time and time again on 20 to 25 to 50 different computers in your lab okay so I'll leave it there, guys. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks very much for your patience, and hopefully this helped you uh, on all the steps to install um, Studio 5000. Thanks. See you soon.